Hello guys. Been on. On Steam. Currently at the moment. Got the Steam Game Festival Summer Edition going on. And it's just highlighting upcoming games. Uh, I've been through and there's quite a few interesting games on here. Some of them that I haven't seen so far. So I thought we'd try a few of the uh, games, a few of the demos. See how it goes. The first one we're going to start with, I don't know where it's going to appear on the front screen. The first game we're going to start with is called Cartel Tycoon. It's just about, it's just um, set in the 80s. You've got to build your cartel, Brooks Cartel up from the ground. And it's just like a little um, city building game, some elements. Dealing. So uh, we'll check that out and then we want to check out a few more. There's a few other games I want to check out. So I want to check out Stronghold Warlords. I remember playing the uh, the original Stronghold and uh, 2 and 3 but we don't talk about them. Uh, there's a few other ones I wanted to check out. I've got a list here somewhere. So uh, Builders of Egypt, somewhere on there. Check out Snowtopia, Mr. Prepper. Eldritch Zookeeper Bill Set Occupy Mars the game and that's near the top Somewhere up here anyway That might be Mars Horizon uh, And a few others So This video is going to be about Cartel Tycoon And then we'll make some more Didn't even look at these two But yeah So uh, we'll come back with these See what's going on There we go, booted up, Cartel Tycoon. Our world is fertile soul for hell and paradise. The roots are tightly interwoven. Bowels. Start a new game. I've already played through the demo. Quite interesting. See what happens from here. Quite an interesting little game. There we go, we load up with a. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this, Felix Vijo. Also known as El Gran Granero. I'm gonna butcher all the Spanish pronunciations, so uh, be prepared. This business will be the death of me. I'm not gonna do. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the voices either. This business will be the death of me. Soil is infertile. The lab is inefficient. We're running out of money. I have to load the lab to its efficiency. Yeah, at least something from this godforsaken soil. Hmm, maybe I should try expanding the production chain. Lord help me. I'm actually going to turn down that sound. Oh, that should be alright. That might be a bit too low, actually. There you go, that'll do. So let's jump straight in. Pause it. So, I don't know what the full game's gonna be like, but for the start, start in a uh, South American country. And on this demo mode, there's five regions. We start in, uh, whatever that name is, Tensaka? Stacia? And we have to take over the other five regions along with selling our drugs. So in the demo, start with free cannabis farms, a warehouse, store all the stuff, and then a lab to dry the cannabis and roll it into joints and other stuff. Got an airport to sell it at. Uh, you got a bank in the city. You control the city. It's the only way you can build in. All the districts is to take over the city. Now this might mean just bulldozing in and attacking it, or you might have to uh, bribe the officials. Uh, got five buttons, uh, six buttons at the bottom here. We've got build, roads, economy, which will tell you like how much you're making over a month, a year, or all time. 
you got layers of efficiency to so like where uh, cannabis grows better cocaine uh, vegetables coffee and spice so as you can see we, we can only grow weed so far there's only these few places current district building list just shows you all the buildings you've got lieutenants assume this will fill up people you get I think we get about five or six over the course of this game over the course of the demo even building wise four buildings got the farm the chemical factory plantation which is only in the full version and the sawmill which is in the full version production we have the lab which uh, converts the raw the raw uh, drugs or raw um plant into the drugs that we can sell the workshop which can uh, pack the drugs into boxes of fruit so we can sell it via legal means food factory which is in full version and a drying rack which is in the full version communication we have the warehouse and we're basically you just store all your stuff the workshop which again you can pack it into other stuff so you hide your drugs inside boxes etc and you have the aerodrome which is the way to sell all illegal drugs it's just low capacity residents uh, is basically just houses so this is an enemy one here and uh, residences it's just a place where like a base of operations it doesn't do much all you use it for is to collect uh, dirty money which then transports to the bank which converts to legal money you up here at the top We've got dirty money which is currently zero because we haven't got any and legal money which is 48 grand uh, after selling drugs you'll get dirty money you need to take that to the bank to launder it and then it becomes legal money you can only buy things like uh, the cities or buildings with legal money you can only bribe officials with legal money as well you have to make sure you convert it basically what else this little character here this is our current main boss Felix and uh, if you see him on the map like this it means they're a lieutenant and lieutenants can move to different buildings uh, you can deliver from buildings well there's nothing in this building yet but if there was some uh, cannabis or weed here we could deliver it to the warehouse which will deliver it somewhere else so on and so forth and you could burn a building down I don't know why you don't want to do that though we also have little villages where you can buy vegetables, coffee, etc. That you uh, use to hide your drugs in. So, yeah. Uh, down here in the bottom left, got our objectives. So, we've got to build one more warehouse, but at least five farms growing cannabis and keep an efficiency of a lab to more than 40%. Can't currently build labs, which is a bit crap. We might have to store it over here. But in the end, we'd probably want to move here so we have um, higher efficiency. Uh, we also have roads we can build. Basically, seas. Uh, different speeds on all of them. Asphalt's fastest, then gravel. Sandy. Got me, showed you. Showed you the rest. So let's get straight into it. I might need to turn that sound down a bit more. Suddenly just jumps up. All right. One of our objectives is to build a warehouse. We want that lab. You get it? So when we click on a farm, 
you see there it takes 21 hours to grow because it has an efficiency of 6% once it's grown we'll have 19 cannabis that'll get delivered to the warehouse the warehouse will then deliver it to the labs where it'll be um, changed into dried cannabis which will then go to our warehouse we then need to set a destination in the warehouse to the aerodrome and there goes our first set of weed so I'll go to the aerodrome and uh, be sold so this one the same as well and that, that's the basics of it you see there we managed to get the efficiency of lab up to 5% I was just waiting for more objectives. Felix, thank you, Lord, for guiding my thoughts and my actions. Without you, I am but a worm. I got word from one of my guys that our warehouse is full of merchandise, now should set out sales. I own a nearby aerodrome. Time to remind the workers over there who puts food on their table. But our next objective is to move any lieutenant to the warehouse using general orders. Which move him there. You cannot move him whilst he's already moving. And we deliver our dried cannabis to the aerodrome. So this is just an alternative to setting it yourself. We need to change this road. Yeah, it's just easy as that. And then when they get a sufficient stockpile, they'll go and deliver them. At the aerodrome. Here we have 16 stored currently out of 100. We have one flight ongoing, which has 11 hours left, and that's going to bring us 3,700 dirty cash back. And our last objective is to sell 50 units of dried cannabis, which will go quick enough. So there's a plane coming back. We load up the next lot and then go again. There we go, 3,700 dirty cash. And then we can deliver the cash to the bank. And that will start laundering then. Just checking out how the uh, storage is going so far. You can always expand. So it, it takes longer to get it from the aerodrome because it's got such small capacity. Whereas if we check out the seaport, you see the seaport has a carrying capacity of 100 or 160. But for the seaports and the order points, you can only sell them if they're hidden in another pair of goods. So we'd have to hide them in fruit or other stuff. And we can't do that till later when we unlock the workshop. Oh, it's all filling up this, getting the money from it. We check out the bank now. It's already laundered our money. But uh, we'll put this next line. We'll upgrade this road as well in a minute, so it's a bit faster. And that's the gist of it. But at the moment, we're uh, running at a flat rate. We're not overstocking too much. good if your warehouses fill up or say your uh, farms fill up then uh, it starts attracting police attention eventually we'll get residences that can carry this uh, illegal money so we don't have to carry it
a tu selección. Hola Felix, I'm Pablo Crespo, Commissioner of the National Police. Next, but I would be interested in a small time fuck like you, did you? I'm joking, I'm joking. I've heard about your business from my men and I thought we could become good friends. Of course, I have friendship as a down payment. Grunting laugh resonated through the phone. And good help to you, Mr. Crespo, but I'm not interested in your friendship. No, no, you seem to have mis misunderstood me. Sorry about that, Felix. You can't deny me friendship. At the other end of the phone, someone's clearly trying to stifle their life. My guys will come for the money. Be ready to provide them with some green bricks for the foundation of a good friendship. So we can either say fuck you and get one attention star. We'll have to pay 50,000 in legal money in a month. Or we can say having friends. You'll pay 100 grand in legal money in a month. And uh, presumably we won't get the attention star. Now in my playthrough, I decided to say fuck you. I got one attention star. And I didn't really see any negative from it. I mean, you, you get police attention every now and again. They might come and check out your business, but that's only if you allow it to get full. Uh, or we can say having friends. But that means we need to get 100 grand in a month. Um, based solely on the fact that I never did this before, I'm going to say, let's have friends. So now we need to get 100 grand. It should be easy enough. With dirty money, they say money has no smell. Bullshit. Dirty money has smell and weight. It's hard to spend, hard to stone. It attracts cops. We should launder it. Which we are doing, Felix. It's like a mini Scarface simulator or uh, Mendoza, even considering we grow in the stuff as well. Just add another uh, farm, boost production up a bit. So down here under our big bribe objective it tells us we have 27 days, 2 hours left. It takes a day to get 3,700. So that's 37 grand, 10 days, uh, 74, obviously in 2 days, uh, 20 days. So we should make it. We don't need to be buying anything. Wait till I get there. Alright. I'm gonna delete this road. And replace it with a asphalt one. That last trip's a bit faster.
And then we may have to delete this road as well. And oh, no, it seemed fast enough on there. Yeah, these roads mustn't have any speed then. They're going the same speed. So our money's going up at a decent speed now. As soon as we've done this objective, we should get another one. Once we unlock the residences, it becomes a bit more streamlined. When you deliver your money to the bank, it just takes a few hours to launder, and obviously comes legal money. Oh, I forgot as well. Your uh, lieutenants, or in this case, our uh, boss, they have different special orders, which are basically traits. So uh, Felix Avijo has a trait where he reduces the interval of cannabis production by 25%. Basically, it makes them produce faster. And the quicker they produce, the more drugs it can make. We've got six cannabis farms. We're obviously making a lot of drugs. But with that, we should be laundering the last bit of money to complete this objective. We're still way off having the 100. But if we would have told him to fuck off, a bar pops up here with uh, your terror or your notoriety rating. And then uh, that's when the police start coming. You have the police, the federales, and then it goes up and up. So we have a lieutenant obtained, Hector Alejandro Vijo. We've also unlocked the research center. Oh, Hector, I'm so glad you came. Do you recognize your TO? Felix smirks, but the next second, a shadow flitted across his face. But we don't have much time. Evidently, the time is short because times are hard. God gives us only as much as we can bear. There he is now. I recognise my uncle. Why didn't you become a writer? That's because I'm a businessman, Query though. So let's get down to business. I'll show you around. I'll tell you about my plans for the future. That way, you'll be ready should anything happen to me. And for now, you'll help me around head to the Falcon. Felix, um, I mean Patron. You accept me straight into your organisation at the rank of Falcon straight away. Thank you. Now we collect the list of lieutenants. See that. Hector Alejandro. There. Uh, he has a 2 in attack, and we have a 1 in attack. Now obviously we have Hector to help us do our businesses. We must get my brother's residence back. The bastards killed my dear Alejandrito. And now they eat out of our heirloom silverware. I hope Hector wants to avenge his father as well. So, Hector has three special orders or traits. He has cocoa area, which reduces the interval of cocoa production by 50%. He has a truck supplier, which adds two cars to the building to improve logistics and access to lab three. That means we can upgrade this lab. It'll be a bit better producing, and it'll also be able to store more. Let's drop our dirty cash off. And then we've got two new uh, jobs. We've got Conquest. We'll conquer enemy residents by moving lieutenants inside. So that's this residence here. Turn on the new residence, set bank as destination of the residence, and set Rogaine's aerodrome as destination as the residence with this one. 
Well, it would have been that one. We don't need that. And then we need to launder 10,000 dirty money into that. Just to take over a place. Click our lieutenant. Click on the building. You're about to send your lieutenant into an enemy building. This will trigger a territory war encounter. So Hector has a power of two. The enemy have a power of one. We just move both our people over there. I should start the war. Drugs wise, we're starting to fill up now. Well, the battle started. But I haven't yet seen like any inkling that they uh, actually fight back in the demo. Uh, depending on what your strength is, just depends how quickly. So this one might take a few minutes because we only have a strength of three to one. We also unlock the research center. Now we can research stuff. So we can research better farms. Uh, we can research better warehouses, residents, workshops, and chemical factories. Uh, what was the quest for? Research the workshop. Okay, so now it's telling us to research the workshop. Go ahead and research that. Then we'll be able to pack these into drugs. Uh, drug packets, even. And then go on like that. Well, very slowly we'll take over that. Our research will take two days. Oh, and here's our terror bar now. So depending on what levels you get, depends on who you attract. So we have the police at level one. They will come and arrest one building if they find anything suspicious there. There's the Federals who um, will come and arrest that building and any located in the spear of it. So there we go. We managed to take over the residence. So we have a choice here. So this man, Anafilo Ramos, is the boss of the police. And we have a choice. We can either give him a bribe and uh, not get the one attention star so the police won't come on for us. Or we'll obviously lose 50 grand. And we only have 24 days to get 100. Or we can not give a bribe and continue the game with one attention star. Um, We won't give a bribe. We haven't really got the money and we won't be attracting attention anyway at the moment. So we're going to turn on this residence. Set it at the airport. Set it at the bank. And this resident should now collect the dirty money from there, take it to the bank and launder it for us. But yeah, we just need to launder the dirty money now. So there goes our little van. That'll go to there. Collect whatever dirty money there is, take it to the bank. Should also mean that these warehouses stop picking up the dirty money. There you go. That's our residence fund now. Picked up our dirty money. Take it to the bank. And that should be that. Oh. It will take it back to our residence first and then take it to the bank. Which is about the same anyway. Almost filling up at the aerodome with a uh, dried cannabis. All right, Felix. Lately, I keep having this dream. Green marijuana field is stretched all the way to the horizon. 
there is thunder but the sky is crystal clear and then it begins to pour snow no snow doesn't look like that the whole field is filled with white snow drifts are growing they grow so high that they touch the sun then like resounding waterfalls they collapse on the ground i hear something piercing the ground with its sprouts then rustling just like that the endless field is filled with green dollars a woman slowly approaches me swing her hips and her full breasts she's smiling with a lewd yet somehow also maternal smile fantastic writing if she gives me a shawl i take it the woman is falling to pieces gory body parts leaving bloody traces are trying to slip into the cracks crawl under the stones disappear into the grass i wake up in a cold sweat hector what's wrong with your face Tron, i'm just a bit tired i've learned about cocoa production from some friends they say cocaine requires two-thirds of the storage space and costs four times as much with your blessing i could look into it I think I understand my dream now. Mihijo. Mihijo? Spanish for you. You are my blessing. Probably you have my blessing. I agree, but I also think it's time for us to expand. Uncle, there's an efficient cocaine production in Rogandas. We could seize a production chain. Another option, fund the research center to obtain the necessary to build our own cocaine. Either way, your decision will have consequence. What do you think? Let's seize the production chain. Get ready for war, son. With the uh, research and it takes forever. So now, we have a quest. Conquest, cocaine production in Rogaine. So basically we need to take over this. Our workshop has finished being researched. So now we can build the workshop. Build that there. And that will basically take the raw. Well, take the goods. Oh, why are they still delivering that there? Take the goods, deliver them to the workshop. That should be enough. We'll start taking over these bases now. The aerodrome storage is full. Cancel this now. Because uh, if it's full, it will start attracting the attention of the police. Bloody 10 more there. Because we have a workshop now. The workshop will pack the dried cannabis into a drug pack or we can pack it into fruit and stuff and then sell it which is uh, good for us ah so up here take over the rest of these so this is a uh, cocaine we have a lab here turn the I'm oh, sorry we have a lab to turn the coca into cocaine we have six cocaine farms oh the police are coming now there you go the police are on their way to investigate this so we're going to be a bit buggered here uh, we're going to get caught and that's going to be arrested. I mean, luckily we have enough money. There's not much I could do. If uh, if I had enough people, I could clear out the cannabis and the drug pack, and we'd be all right. But I haven't. We've got too much cannabis there to move. That's that. Our people are all the way up here. Yeah, it's not good for that. Alright. So our aerodrome has been arrested by the police. So 
but we're not going to be selling anything out of there for now. We need to get this up and running. And we need to take over this. Whilst we got the money. Buy out this town. Now we have the federales. We can't bribe. <laughs> the federales will wipe out all the buildings. Uh, we need to keep an eye on these stuff. If we go over, we'll have nowhere to stick it. Meanwhile, our cocaine stopped being produced. Cocaine sells for a lot more. As soon as we've taken over this, we'll be able to sell our cocaine straight there. And we'll take over this so the cocaine gets sold into here. the police and the federals you have the DEA you have the National Army CIA and the US Army so if you get too uh, high they'll come and attack you but uh, I haven't gotten to the next one yet so far so our drugs are on the way to the airport uh, you get a lot more money for cocaine well, cannabis was just 370, whereas cocaine's uh, a grand. But we'll soon be making enough money. We've got 11 days. <laughs> so 80 grand. Which is not good. Yeah, I may have fluffed this because I allowed that to be taken.
So we keep getting notifications here about our warehouse drawing attention. go over that in a minute so senior felix i don't believe my eyes do you remember me sorry i can't say i do no senior felix my name is tony quintero but most people call me monstro you helped me a long time ago and now i found found you i want to help you come part my cartel so we now have another new lieutenant uh i don't know where he is oh there he is and he has a strength of five. But yeah, as we were saying, this warehouse keeps drawing attention. Not on there. It's because it keeps going over the storage limit. It's because the uh, cocaine takes so much. Like you see, they keep, they're chucking stuff outside. It takes so long for it to deliver there. But we could always shut down one of these. We're getting far too much. Como estás? That's shut down all our weed plants for now. We're getting far too many drugs. Um, try delivering them up here. Turn that we want to stay here, really. Yeah, I really messed up doing that. We've got five days. Yeah, how much money? It's not gonna happen. But yeah, you get yeah, you get the gist of it. But as you take over these regions. You have to then go and buy them out. Uh, depending on which region you buy out, you get certain characters or more lieutenants. Eventually you unlock the seaport where you can sell in bigger quantity. Uh, I never bothered going with the the uh, checkpoint. You don't get any more money. And you can only do carrying capacity per 5 hours 26, so... I mean, it could be alright. I don't think there's any groves over there though. Oh yeah, you can grow cocaine here. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. What I'm going to do now... I will save this here. I'll show you completed one. Oh, I don't know whether I'd finish the game at this point, but we won't be far off. So here we are, exactly the same place we were before almost. Except for now we've just got to take the last few regions. Oh, I think we only have two more regions to take. Yeah, Los. Los Grandes. And Molino. I've unlocked the seaport. Where we've been delivering cocaine. And uh, also earning a lot of money. Doesn't seem like anyone's taking that money there. Look at that. So it's all going very well. I mean, that aerodrome's filling out. And uh, I got caught by the Federales in this one. So as you can see, you get caught by the Federales. Blocked everything in the area. Luckily, I was able to continue with this. Uh, this is quite early because uh, later I also built a. Uh, what is it on here? Built a chemical factory. Supply the cocaine with hydrochloric acid, which just improves the yield. We've got a vegetable farm, which is 
rammed. Providing us with vegetables. Turn them off. Which then gets supplied to the workshop. I mean, I could have done it up here. It would have been miles better to do up here, but that's where vegetables grow 100%. Chemical factory unlocked. Um, what I also ended up doing was just building a cocaine plant here. A quicker supply of that. We had a residence taking that there. So, I mean, you get the gist of it. If you want to see more on this, uh, just give us a shout. It's a very interesting game. I mean, obviously, we only have this one level from it. And the first time I played it, I got through it. I think it only took me about two hours. It's not a bit long demo. But it's uh, very interesting. It gives me vibes of um, Tropical. Reminds me of Tropical and obviously any other city builder. And uh, a few of the farm games. I can't remember what they were called. Like farm Empire, some crap. Where basically you had to have your, your production chain. This is selling. Now, once you generate money, you spend more money, eventually it becomes a uh, unstoppable roller coaster. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Very interesting game, and that's Cartel Tycoon. But, uh, if you've been. If you're interested in it, check it out on Steam. The uh, demo's free to download. So, very interesting to play. But, check it out. See where we go from there. I've been Carl. Thank you very much for watching.